Hey you guys, Natalie here and welcome back to Hey It's A Good Life. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making lemon poppy seed muffins. So today's video is the first of hopefully many that will be coming from our kitchen and it's actually a collaboration video with my friend Abby over at Forgotten Way Farms. So be sure to check out her video, I'll link it right here. If you don't know Abby, she's an amazing baker, mom, homesteader, cook, gardener, the list goes on and on and she's an amazing friend. But she's also written a cookbook. This is Abby's Cozy Christmas Baking Cookbook full of heirloom recipes that were handed down to her and recipes that she's crafted with her family. I invite you guys to check it out as you start your baking for this Christmas season. Now there's nothing quite as gratifying as cooking or baking with produce that we grew here. What's more is being able to send a little lemon care package to friends in the mail. We're both using lemons from my garden, from the tree that we revived with worm compost from our worm farm. <laughs> If you don't know already, worms are the powerhouse of our humble modern homestead here. You can get my free worm guide or my ebook in the show notes down below. I wanted to put this cozy Christmas baking collaboration together for you guys. And we invite you to join us when you use our hashtag or DM us your lemon creations on Instagram. Now without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's make some lemon poppy seed muffins. Alright, so after you've procured your lemons either from a local tree or local store, the first step to this recipe is to zest your lemons. And the key here is to not include the pith. The pith is bitter and we don't want to include that. So just gently remove the outer part of the skin slowly but surely until you've got a nice one to two tablespoons worth of zest. You can make this recipe as lemony as you like by adding more or less of this lemon zest. To incorporate that nice lemony flavor into our recipe, we'll add it to one cup or 200 grams of granulated sugar, mixing thoroughly until it is combined to the point that it looks like this. Yeah. Next, you'll add one and a half cups or 340 grams of unsalted warmed but not melted butter. The goal here will be to cream the butter, sugar, and lemon zest together to start to invite that lemon flavor to come out. Now, Tommy and I don't like lemon overpowering any dish, so I didn't add that much lemon, but again, feel free to add as much as you like if you really enjoy that lemony flavor. As you cream your butter, sugar, and lemon zest together, be sure to scrape down the sides as necessary, and once it's all creamed together, it's time to move on to the next step. To this mixture, you'll add one cup or 265 grams of sour cream. Next, you'll add half a cup or 90 grams of buttermilk. Then you'll add one teaspoon or six grams of vanilla extract. Next, we'll sift together all of the dry ingredients, which includes three cups or 375 grams of all-purpose flour, yeah. one tablespoon or 10 grams of baking powder, one teaspoon or six grams of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon or two grams of fine sea salt. Once your dry ingredients are all sifted together, it's time to add it one cup at a time to our wet mixture. Slowly but surely incorporating this, scraping down the sides as necessary. 
Next, you'll add two large eggs one at a time, slowly incorporating them into the mixture. And then it's time to add the stars of the show. The lemon, I recommend rolling out to extract as much juice as possible by breaking up some of those cell walls and to avoid getting any seeds in your mixture. I also recommend sending it through a sieve or using a lemon press or a lemon juicer to extract as much juice as you like. Again, this is totally up to you how lemony you want your dish. I added about two tablespoons. And last but not least, of course, is our poppy seeds. You'll want to add a quarter cup or 40 grams of poppy seeds to your lemon poppy seed muffins. Once everything is thoroughly combined, I like to scrape down my attachments and scrape down the sides of the bowl, making sure that no bits have been left behind, as so often happens with stand mixers. All that's left to do is let this rest somewhere cool just for a few minutes while you prepare your muffin tins. This is a recipe you can be very generous with batter, filling your muffin tins nearly 100% full. And you're even going to have a little bit left over, which I'll show you what to do with in just a second. Add your muffins to a 375 degree oven, and if you have a little left over, you can sugar a ramekin and cook it alongside your muffins. Once your golden lemon poppy seed muffins are out of the oven, you'll want to set them aside to cool because you didn't come this far not to add a little bit of icing. This first icing recipe is super simple. It's literally two ingredients. It's powdered sugar, which I like to sift through a little sieve, and the same protocol as before, we're going to roll out that lemon to break up the cell walls and release as much juice as possible, making our jobs as juicers just a little bit easier. This icing is delicious. It reminds me of lemonade. It's tart, it's sweet, and you can make it as thick or as thin as you like. The only thing about this icing is that it will dry pretty thin. And so if you're into that, you know, go for it by all means. Decorate your heart out with some light lemonade type icing. But if you're like me and you want thick, delicious icing, it's time to upgrade to the warm drizzle icing. We're going to take that same mixture that we just made and we're just going to add a tablespoon of room temperature butter, stirring to incorporate until homogenous. And once it is incorporated with that previous mixture, we'll add a little bit more powdered sugar and a little bit of milk, about a tablespoon or so of each. Once you've added those extra ingredients, you'll want to whisk to combine so that it looks something like this. And then we're going to nuke it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Once it's nice and warm, you can drizzle it all over your lemon poppy seed muffins, however you see fit. You could go for something like this, but I found that I ended up liking the zigzag design best. Yeah. And there you have it, lemon poppy seed muffins with icing from scratch. so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this baking collaboration again if you guys want to join in on the fun dm us your lemon creations or if you recreate one of ours definitely shoot us a message so we can feature you on our instagrams thanks for being here for what is hopefully the first of many cooking videos here at hey it's a good life and i hope you guys have a great weekend i'll see you next week bye mm -hmm.